Welcome to Baldwin County's Bicentennial Park. Construction here at the park site began in earnest over a year ago with a cooperative effort from the Baldwin County Department of Archives and History, the Baldwin County Building Maintenance Department, and the Baldwin County Highway Department. We've also had a lot of assistance from the Friends of the Park group coming out and working on the park almost weekly. As you can see behind me, we've cleared a lot of area. It's an open air park. We've got several hundred acres here for the public to enjoy. What we've done over the past year is to create a couple of pavilions that are able to be accessed by picnickers, people wanting to hold a reception, a uh, family outing of any sort can have those here on the park. We also have a two and a half mile walking track that traverses the various different terrain within the park. People can walk it, you can hike, uh, you jog it if you'd like. It's a great place for bird watchers to come and enjoy the scenery. Uh, there are also opportunities to get a look firsthand at the wetlands of North Baldwin County to see what the Delta region looks like for yourself. Uh, in addition to what we've already accomplished, what we will be doing in the very near future is completing a Native American exhibit complete with a, a trade house, a hot house, and also summer quarters. Uh, we already have on site a store which represents the turn of the century construction circa 1910. We hope to also acquire in the near future many other uh, types of buildings, uh, various different types of ar architecture that are representative of Baldwin County's past, preserve them on site, and use that as an educational tool. I mentioned education. Now that's the purpose of the historical side of the park. We want to be able to educate Baldwin County's youth and really anybody uh, as to Baldwin County's rich past. And that's what we want to do here on site with the uh, Native American exhibit, with the proposed exhibits of the 19th century village, and with the 19th century farmhouse that is under construction right now. Uh, during the next phase of construction, over the next several months, we'll be able to incorporate a more permanent welcome center at the front gate of the site. We'll also be able to build the farmhouse, which will be representative of farm family life in the mid-19th century. We are in the process now of completing the, the farm site by planting crops that will be harvested much later on, like corn, sugar cane, and various other food crops that would have fed a subsistence farm family, say, mid-19th century. In addition, we're in the process of completing the Veterans Memorial Park. Uh, the park's underway. We already have the Galvez Monument devoted to the site by the Sons of the American Revolution. In the very near future, there will also be a Civil War monument on the site and an Indian Wars monument on the site as well. The Bicentennial Park, it's a park for the people of Baldwin County. It's a park for their enjoyment recreationally. We also want people to come here to understand their heritage better. We want them to get an educational experience. And you can do that in one of the most pristine, beautiful settings anywhere in Baldwin County, here in the Stockton community at Bicentennial Park. As you enter into Baldwin County's Bicentennial Park, the first thing you'll see is ample parking for people coming in to enjoy any of the cultural sites within the park or just to walk the trail. Once into the site, if you travel down the service road, the first thing you come to is the Native American exhibit, which we're in the process of completing right now. In process is the Indian Trade House, which represented the, the cooperative effort between European settlers and Indians in the trade of furs and items that Indians came to really value, which were European goods. In addition to that, we will be building near the Trade House a summer house and also winter quarters that would have been used, say, circa 1780 to 1800 or so. I'm standing in front of one of our exhibits currently under construction. This is an Indian trade house, circa 1810 up to the eve of the War of 1812. The trade house may seem out of place in an Indian village, however one has to consider at that time uh, Indians were, were becoming more influenced and seduced by the European way of life. They were interested in cookware, wool, cotton, many textiles that they didn't have beads, mirrors, and a variety of other goods that we would now look at as, as tawdry junk. These items were used in the trade of buckskins. The buckskin trade was one of the contributing factors to the Red Stick Wars that would later break out in Lower Alabama. 
The trade house is constructed of hand-hewn timbers. Uh, you'll note between the logs what is commonly known as chinking. The chinking is made of mud, Spanish moss, straw, horsehair, and a variety of other items that harden into a concrete-like substance. The roof is, is staying with materials of the time. This was very typical creek architecture. Using a palmetto leaf, uh, similar to thatch roofs that were in Europe, this would drain water. You'll notice the cane frame over the top of it, and that was to keep wind damage to a minimum with the palmetto leaf. Also, currently being designed and soon to be constructed will be several Indian structures. We will be adding a Indian winter quarters, commonly known as a hot house. Uh, these were made out of wattle and daub, which is basically woven twigs and sticks, vines, with an overcoating of mud. The roof will be very similar to the roof you see on the trade house. We also will be adding a summer house, which is a wide open ventilated uh, platform with a roof and uh, rails along the walls, sleeping platforms, and a variety of other features, including a cook area. Uh, as time goes, we will uh, add probably in the neighborhood of 15 more structures to this village to reconstruct creek life about 1810. Beyond the Indian Trade House, on a service road to the left, you'll see uh, architectural designs that we hope to preserve that are reminiscent of Baldwin County's past. On site now is a country store that we saved from Lower Bryant's Landing from destruction. We brought it onto the site, we've uh, refurbished it, and it actually is on site and has period displays within it so that when you walk in it, you walk back in time and you're able to see what Baldwin County life would have been like, say, 100 years ago. Here in Bicentennial Park, nestled alongside a two and a half mile walking trail, is a restored circa 1910 country store. Uh, this building was saved from destruction from Lower Bryant's Landing, brought here to the site, and several different groups, including uh, the members of the Baldwin County Department of Archives, uh, the Baldwin County Building Maintenance Department, uh, Friends of the Park, people interested in restoring this old structure came together to restore it both outside and in, and also to bring a variety of products in that are seen as displays now that you would have most likely seen, say, 1900 or 1910, in your country store. These items were provided by the Baldwin County Department of Archives and put in their rightful place by Friends of the Park members. Uh, most notably, uh, Ms. Lynn Bazone came in and helped to arrange the interior of the store. Now, if you're out walking along the trail, uh, the two and a half mile walking trail, you can take a, a break from your walk, venture over to the store and see what life might have looked like a hundred years ago or so uh, on a trip to the store. Once you travel further into the park, you'll see on your right the Veterans Memorial Park area, where we've dedicated space to those veterans from Baldwin County who fought in numerous wars that have affected us both directly and indirectly. On the site right now is the monument devoted to the American Revolution by the Sons of the American Revolution, the Bernardo Galvez Monument. In the future, in the very near future, actually, we will have on site a Civil War monument devoted to those who lost their lives in the Civil War, both on the Confederate and Union side of the conflict. In addition, later in the summer, we will be devoting a space to the Indian Wars, and that monument will be on site, devoted to the people who lost their life in defense of their country and their loved ones in that conflict. Beyond that, we'll be devoting space to uh, the various wars that have affected us, World War I, World War II, Vietnam, Korea, and we'll devote space to all those conflicts and to the people who from Baldwin County served their country and served their fellow man very well. Next on our tour is the future site of the Veterans Memorial. This site will be dedicated to commemoration of those citizen soldiers from Baldwin County that have answered the call and defended our country in the numerous conflicts since the conception of, of the United States. Uh, behind me is a monument to Bernardo Galvez, which commemorates the Revolutionary War. Galvez was a uh, Spanish general that contributed greatly to the American Revolution by tying up British troops and resources along the Gulf Coast between 1780 and 1781. Uh, next 
in the park will be a monument to the veterans of the Civil War. That it should be uh, dedicated sometime in May. And in August, we are looking at the dedication of an Order of Indian Wars monument to dedicate those that, that fought in the Indian Wars throughout South Alabama. Uh, later on, we will be dedicating other monuments to the War on Terror, Vietnam War, Korean War, World War II, World War I, the Spanish-American War, as well as the War of 1812, the Mexican War, and uh, there also will be a Medal of Honor monument, Purple Heart monument, to those that really gave their last full measure. Once you travel beyond the Memorial Park, you'll see on your left a beautiful walking bridge that is part of the DeVita Hasty Nature Trail that carries you over a man-made canal that was dug here many years ago in order to fill a holding pond that was used in the timber industry to hold timber before they were shipped via the river down to Mobile. I'm standing at the observation deck along the DeVita Hasty Nature Trail. Behind me, you may notice a uh, canal. According to BLM records, this canal was built in 1810 and was used to, to float logs to the Kennedy Sawmill on the other side of 225. Intact is still the oxen trail that was used, uh, as well as most of the features of the canal. Uh, the observation deck itself <clears throat> is uh, within the commitment of building a boardwalk system through the wetlands so that visitors here can have a better understanding of the wetland ecology and the plants and animals there within. Uh, it's a great opportunity for bird watchers as well as other watchful wildlife experiences. Once you travel past the walking bridge further into the park, you'll see the beautiful DeVita Hasty Trail. Down this trail is two and a half miles of gravel walkway that you'll be able to walk, jog, uh, even ride a bike if you'd like around the periphery of the park and get a, a better idea of what the wetlands in the northern Baldwin Delta look like. In addition, near the trail site is Hasty Lake. It's a tributary that flows into the Tensaw River and it is a beautiful site for placing in canoes, uh, double enders. If you want to go fishing, it's a wonderful launching spot. We'll be opening that site for boats in the very near future. As you travel through the park along the DeVita Hasty Trail, you'll find several acres of bottomland that we're actually planning to plant in sugarcane later on this summer. That'll be part of the working 19th century farm now in progress. There will be a farmhouse, the appropriate outbuildings, corn crib, uh, various different sheds, a barn, and the fields, of course, that will grow the food that we will actually have here on site uh, during various festivals that we hope to sponsor in the next coming years. Uh, we'll be growing, as I've said, sugar cane, corn, various food products that you would have seen on a farm in mid-19th century in Baldwin County. As you travel through the remainder of the park, you'll get a wonderful understanding of just how beautiful North Baldwin is with the uh, trees, uh, the beautiful grass hillsides that are available for picnics in the near future. Baldwin County's Bicentennial Park celebrates the heritage of the region. It's both an educational opportunity in that we uh, help to promote the education of the history of Baldwin County. It's also recreational with the opportunity to walk the DeVita Hasty Trail, and in the near future, the opportunity to launch boats on our site. The most recent construction at Bicentennial Park includes two pavilions, one small pavilion overlooking a wooded area and adjacent to the DeVita Hasty Nature Trail. A second, larger pavilion is next door to a brick courtyard. Both of these will be available for family outings, picnics, family reunions, wedding receptions, uh, if you're having a class reunion, this would be a great place to gather. They're large, they're spacious, and they're in a beautiful outdoor atmosphere. Most recently, we celebrated the county's bicentennial, its 200th birthday. We did so right here in Bicentennial Park. Now, that celebration brought tons of people out during a day-long celebration. In the near future, we plan similar celebrations. Uh, over the summer, we hope to have people in at various different activities. Uh, once again, this fall, we'll be sponsoring our Halloween Haunted Hayride, which should be bigger and better than last year. 
And if you're interested in uh, being a part of Bicentennial Park, if you're interested in giving us feedback, suggestions, or if you want to be a member of the Friends of the Park group, talk to us. Give us a call, 580-1897 at the Department of Archives and History. We'd love to hear your ideas, love to get your input, and get you involved in your park. Will you post the colors? Hold on. Left flag. Left pick. Forward, park. Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. Freeze hand. Horror. Pledge of Allegiance. One, two, one, 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 one,